Well everyone, this is Pat from Heritage House again. Uh, this week I decided to do a collage of a cat's face using old magazine paper. You, know, you can use newspaper as well if you want. I just use magazine paper because it's that kind of glossy texture so I thought maybe it would hold up better to uh, the glue and the whole process of layering it up. It still got a little bit uh, bubbly in places where air bubbles got in under it but it's not a big deal. So to start with I had a sketch done out really roughly of a cat's face on a piece of paper. Now I let the cat's face take up the whole page because I found the, the bigger you work the easier it is to do without getting too messy. Um, so all I did was start, I started by applying PVA glue to the page and then layering the magazine paper down on top of it. For the most part I was tearing paper but there are places where you might need a scissors for like to keep kind of a more hard edge. So for example the pupils of the cat's eye uh, the eye itself really and the little black areas around the eye I also used it to cut smaller black pieces for around the nose um, but for the most part I just used ripped paper because the torn edge gave a sort of effect similar to fur so it didn't mean it meant you didn't have hard edges say maybe around the mouth or over the top of the eye So I've skipped on a little bit here. Um, this is the first kind of layer completely done. I decided to do in the eyes with this layer as well because when I'm building the layers up with the pattern, it the eyes will get pushed back as well and they'll be kind of, they'll sort of be under the, the fur kind of. Um, I hunted out just some green sections on the magazine page just to use the eyes and just was a pink section in one of them, pink, pink dress or something that I cut up to use for the nose. <coughs> The reason I put down this base layer of just text was that when I'm putting in the pattern, no matter how many gaps you've shown, you're not going to have bare paper shown through. There'll be some bit of colour or some content somewhere. Also, when I was putting down the stripes, I tried to have them sort of spiral out from the centre of the face to represent the direction of the foregrowth. So I've skipped on here another little bit. Um, here I'm just trimming off the edges uh, to tidy it up and just getting rid of some of the excess magazine paper uh, from around the base page that's all stuck to. And I add in a couple of more little bits of paper just to add a little bit of depth to it. The, if I had more time and haven't thought about after it was finished, I probably would have used more pieces of paper that had like headlines or large font on them or logos even, because it was just, um, I think it would look better than just having a little bit of a mix, you know, some of it's kind of, it's just blocks of colour, whereas in the second one it's finished, you can see, I think some of the pieces with the big piece of writing on it looked a little bit better, but uh, yeah, that's it finished, doesn't take too long to do, and it's a bit of crack, it's a fun way of using up some old scraps of paper. <laughs> 